Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Breath of the Waifu Genshin Impact. So, apparently in the events, they were talking about the Astro Labos chapter, which is this. And I'm unsure why it was um, heavily kind of um, pointed out. You know, in the events, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a little confused about that. But I guess we can actually be it now, with our own eyes. Uh, yeah. Mona. Beyond this world, stars. Are we going to outer space? <gasps> to outer space we go. Waifus in outer space. I like. I would like that. That's that's what I'm. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm assuming by reading beyond this world stars. All right. Uh, hold on. What? There we go. So, uh, this is after, this is after my PC fixed itself, uncorrupted, uh, the corruption that it did to itself when it restarted. So, I'm um, hoping that, uh, recording is not going to be an issue, and hope everything is actually going to be fine. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's, uh, just wanted to let you guys know. fell asleep waiting <laughs> as usual my predictions are correct you yes you come with me huh? um are you some sort of dirty uh, door sorry, but we're not really interested <sighs> you're not from this world are you <gasps> Aimon literally over, like talked over herself. That was very odd. How? Because I'm a master of true astrology. If you've no other questions, let's be off. Oh, I'm just full of questions. For starters, who are you? <sighs> Fine. I'll exercise a little patience and explain. That, that was some god rays right there. I am astrologist Mona Magistus. But considering that it is most rude to misremember names, I allow others to call me Mona. I am on a mission from my master to retrieve a certain box from Mondstadt. It was part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 years ago. But she isn't as spry as she used to be, so now it's up to me. I'm still gonna assume we're going to space. Waifu to, in, waifu to outer space we go! With us, why do you need us to come along? Well, that's because I would also like to take on the guardian of the box. My master and her friend contended in the mystic arts all their lives without a clear victor. If I triumph here, then I will show myself to be superior to my master. So basically, you want to look good. What are you talking about? The main thing here is to use this chance to prove the power and status of astrology. Now, from my predictions, I know that my master's friend has left Mondstadt, leaving her successor as the current guardian of that box. Like me, that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. I must not be careless. But I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest, and upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. How did you end up thinking of me? The knowledge passed down to me from my master must be passed on in turn. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine, no? Oh. Huh. And you are Mondstadt's great hero, my equal in status, so... 
since when was I your student? Come on, you don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the part. There's something in it for you as well, should you come with me to get that box. Money. Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them, I should be able to read your fate more accurately. Then I will have answers for you, even regarding such distant and foggy matters as gods and kin. That does seem much faster than searching the land country by country. Uh, well, I guess we'll play along. <laughs> a wise decision. Uh, l let us be off then? You're not, you're not gonna say that. Okay. That said, I would like to pay a certain place a visit before we go. Uh-huh. You don't say. There is a small inn near Mount Tianhong that never sees a lot of business, even though its food is always great value for the money. The owner has always been good to me, so I'd like to say a farewell before I set off. Alright. Oh, it's actually not that far. Ooh. I wasn't expecting... Her? For some reason? I don't know why, like, in the event thing, it was... She was made into a big deal, so... A li little confused about that, but I guess we were... Well, we'll find out now. Oh, this place. Me to take some food first. Hungry. Well, it's no wonder that an inn set up here has no business. Mona, well, you've come at just the right time. Did you see a jade ring while you made your way here? How, how would we find a jade ring in... What? A jade ring. Can't say I have. Oh, that's not good. The ring was given to me by my mother. But while my back was turned, it was swallowed up by a slime. Hmm. That should be no trouble with Mona here. She's really good at astrology. Absolutely not. Astrology is meant to be used to gain insight into reality and observe destiny itself. It's certainly not for such mundane affairs. Are you sure? But didn't you say that the owner here has been good to you? This is a matter of pride and one state of mind. If an astrologist thinks that their arts can solve all problems, they will be forsaken by the starry ether. Ooh. Their divinations will lose the power to guide and will not be able to pierce the fog of the unknown before them. Principles are principles. Oh. Such a powerful ability, and you don't use it to earn a living? What a shame. Uh, well, I was going to put up 20,000 mora as compensation, if you were willing. Uh, 20,000? Uh, what's with that look on your face now? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I... I was just thinking that the person who finds that ring must be lucky indeed to be able to earn 20,000 mora just like that. Whatever happens in principles are principles. <clears throat> yes, of course. Still, the owner's business has had it pretty hard. It must be a truly extraordinary ring to be worth spending this much mora to find. You're making an excuse now. It wouldn't be right for us to leave like this, so let's help to search for it. There may be other means we can employ besides astrology. Oh, Paimon knows where this is going. I know. I'll leave this one to you. This is the first mission I'm giving you as your master. Yes, it's become my business again. Hmm. Since it was swallowed up by a slime, maybe we can use Elemental Bait to lure all the nearby slimes to us. You remember the stuff we helped Master d -Luke make? And... <laughs> Paimon actually kept a small amount. Don't tell me that when you get greedy, you. Uh, don't sweat the small stuff. Seems like you already have a plan. Yep, we'll be back in a jiffy. 
The elemental bait's really strong. It will attract all the slimes in the area. Even if they're just slimes, they can be dangerous together, so we'd best prepare ourselves. Okay. Oh, I thought you didn't say something. This is your first mission, so don't mess it up. But if the going gets too tough for you, well, I shall lend a hand then. Okie dokie. So, here. Oh, hello. I still like her. I still like her attack set, attack move set. Oh no! Got pummeled by the icky slime. Oh, hello. As you wish, main foil light. I need to upgrade the sword in my uh, artifacts for her. I need to actually do a bit more damage. <laughs> oh, I didn't affect it. Oh, blow up. Yeah, there we go. What? There's more. Ow. Yeah, get my fire uh, spinner. Oh. Oh, it's close. There we go. Oh, I don't get any items from them. Oh, that sucks. Found it! This must be the ring! It's so pretty! Paimon, sure it's worth a ton of... Uh, Paimon wasn't having any bad thoughts! Uh, let's bring the ring back to Mr. Zhu. Uh huh? Sure, sure you aren't. Yeah, it's gonna let her heal. Alright. Let's actually uh, look at that item. Oh. Read. Okay. A nephrite ring obtained from a slime. Gorgeous color and clearly a top quality item. This must be Mr. Zoo's lost property. Can we destroy it? No. Darn. I tried. That's it. That's the one. Ah, I thought it was lost forever. You actually found it. Not bad. Mr. Zhu, you must take care of such precious things a bit better. You might not be so fortunate next time. You're absolutely right. How would I have faced my family if I had lost the 253rd ring my mother gave me? Uh, 253rd? Uh, three ellipses. Oh, let me explain. My family owns three jade mines, and in order to ensure that I would be able to find myself a good wife, my mother had many jade accessories made as heirlooms. So to find a good wife means you have to... Have a ton of jade. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think there might be over five hundred of them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Then why would you feel the need to set up an inn here? 
Well, inheriting the family business too early unavoidably made things boring. Thank you, all the same. Here's the Mora, as agreed. Please take it. Then? Then I'll take it, gladly. She, she, she like, FPS stuttered all the way in front of Paimon. But my FPS counter didn't even go down, so that was weird. That was quick. Even Paimon wasn't that fast. But we did all the work! A disciple should act like one. How can they steal their master's thunder? I never said I'd really be your disciple. Exactly! Well, you need to start practicing now. If my rival is as smart as I think they are, they will figure you out in a heartbeat. Who's your rival? Let me guess. Is your rival... Razor? Oh, she has to use the number two. Or maybe it's a number three. Uh, what was that rumbling sound? Oh, right. You mustn't have eaten in days. I'm very sorry. I forgot that you have no... No money? Ah, uh, sh <laughs> That didn't happen. Forget it. <laughs> well, I suddenly feel that you have indeed contributed to our good fortune. I say we spend this money on treating you to a fine meal. If we travel north, we'll reach the Wongshu Inn. I hear the food there is really good, so let's go try it out. No need to thank me. I'm just doing as a good master should. Did she say she was treating us? Is Paimon hearing things? She's a good person. Set it for, for you. Let's go after her. There, I set it for you. Let's go after her for good food! Yeah. Thank you all so much. You're welcome to drop by again. Well, if this inn hasn't closed its doors yet. <laughs> Will do. How far is this place? North? Oh. Oh. I mean, I got that uh, teleporter. Hmm. Wow, loading really takes a while now. Uh, who we gotta talk to now? Oh, let's go down there? Alright, let me jump off then. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's already here. Since it's Mona's treat, we can order whatever we want, right? Everything. Of course. I am a most generous master, after all. But only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. Excuse me, what would you like to order? Everything. Uh, these golden shrimp balls. As for the vegetarian... Abalone, how about this crab roe tofu and this salted pork soup? Mmm. This is a favorite among our regulars. Bamboo shoots, meat, and ham are cooked together, creating a richly flavored soup. Pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat. Mm, you'll never get enough of it. Mmm, how about this crab roe tofu? Though tofu could not be a more ordinary ingredient, it and crab roe are truly a match made in heaven. It's one of our specialties. Well, I'm not a big seafood fan. That's for the vegetarian abalone. It's exactly what it says on the label. Abalone made from vegetarian ingredients. It's just as good as the real thing. The, these golden shrimp balls. They're golden shrimp balls? These are made using large succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potatoes. They have an amazing texture. Oh, I was going to say that shrimp has balls? I was like, oh, that's weird. But okay. I ordered them all. Uh, all of them? We only have three. No, two and a half people? Isn't that too much food? Nah. That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. 
<clears throat> Squirrelfish, Juyu Chewy Chicken, and Joy Soup, please. Sure. And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? I... I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? Um... Around 20,000 mora. Then... Uh, I'll... I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. All right, a bowl of vegetarian noodles, was it? Please wait a moment, we will serve you shortly. If we'd arise, you and Paimon gorge yourselves on a feast fit for a king. Paimon's been thinking about something since we started eating. Why, she only ordered one dish? Is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? Exactly. I heard that. I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. Oh, today I... After getting my, my PC fixed, I have a tummy ache. I don't know what I ate, but... Man, it, it feels like indigestion or something, and... Like, it's just... It's uncomfortable. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar... Like, like, you just feel kind of sick and kind of don't want to do anything and lie down. Hopefully it goes away, kind of stomach ache. And dangerous. So, not eating the dishes we ordered is also part of an astrologist's pride? Paimon doesn't get it. But it feels kind of bad that only we got to feast. Let me whip something up for you. Oh, yes! We can do that! Just give us a minute! You don't use more to fulfill your desires, so it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? Let's go borrow the kitchen from the innkeeper! Okay. What are we making? I'm, I'm gonna be pretty sure that we have it in our, uh, backpack or something. Who are you? Hello. How may I help you? We'd like to borrow the kitchen here. A friend of mine would like to eat a special dish. My friend would like to eat something made by me. Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you've prepared your own ingredients, feel free to use the kitchen. Uh, sure. If I may add one more thing. You must be quite well versed in the art of cooking, yes? Um... Of course, if I make it, it's delicious. Not really. Uh, not really. <laughs> How humble of you. Actually, I have a little suggestion. From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. But since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue-style cuisine? I have a recipe for golden crab with me. It's a Yue cuisine classic. It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep fried, and then pan fried together with ginger and garlic. When you finally plate up, the crab seems to be lying on gold. Golden crab. Learning a, a whole new dish for Mona's sake is a bit. Golden crab! Golden crab! Got it, I gotta go, go golden crab. I guess I'm learning it for your sake too. <laughs> then let's get to it. With your skills in the kitchen, this will be a cinch. This could be... Ooh, a purple one. The ingredient that can uh, take here? No? Oh. Okay, that was weird. Ooh. Um. Okay. Ooh, can we, ooh yes, we can actually have someone. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we need more crabs, though. But at least we only need to make it make one. <laughs> I wish I could go faster. Took one more. Dang it. 
the golden crab normal or delicious Simona? Gotcha. Mine is uh normal. Because uh Mona spoiled it herself. So so normal it is. No need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. Get out of here, you get out of the way, you wooden fence. I am a little hungry, but it's not a big deal. This aroma is something to go with your noodles. Your special order, ma'am. No, no, no special. It's something to go with your noodles. Or call her ma'am. I could sound old ish. Wow, it's incredible. Fine, since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Mm. This golden crab is too delicious. I have never eaten anything this good in my life. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I never knew that my disciple was this skilled. As your master, I am most comforted. As long as you're eating a full meal. You say that, but you're clearly relishing the meal. I see that it's no boast to call them Liyue's delicacies. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should reach the Stone Gate, and from there, we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. What deep mystery shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yep, me, me too. Thing. Good thing, uh, you know, teleporting is great. If uh, there were no waypoints, I would be very upset to travel without having any sort of, uh, you know, travel companion or uh, some sort of way to uh, travel. I'd be very upset if there is no waypoint. Whew, that was tiring, but we're finally in Mondstadt. You didn't move, I teleported. The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. Paimon's not tired. Ugh, that's because you float. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. And Paimon's like... ...whirling around constellations. That's kind of like astrology, right? That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Are you also resting your feet here? Who are you? I, I can't see him. There's a pole in the way. Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue, and we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. Hey, isn't that Zoo? You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What say you to coming along for the ride? Do I need to pay? No need, no need. We're already heading that way anyway. All right, good, because I would have stolen your ride. There's no need. Now, shoo, get out of our way. <laughs> Miss... Is there something wrong? Cease your pretensions, bandit. Picking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said and all will come to light. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liyue Harbor tonight. How about it? If you're real legitimate businessmen, there's nothing to fear, is there? You... You... You pushed it too far, brat. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Hey, you are not touch her. Only I can. Don't fret, it's just a few bandits. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists? Well then, 
This is a good time to show you what your master can do. <laughs> Another <laughs> test subject. You're finished! <laughs> okay, so I can teleport and then I drop a water thing. This interesting. I mean, I still get damage, but it's just a dash. Okay. That's my charge. Our attacks are kind of cool, though. Okay, so that's not charging it. I'm guessing how far it goes. Or how long it stays? I'm not sure. I'm trying to pick, uh, pick, uh, you know, figure it out. Okay. Huh, that is a really nice move. That I, I do take damage, but I like I don't know. It's hard to say. What did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? Uh, it's impressive that you saw through those bandits. <laughs> Such things are elementary for an astrologist. Lies are worthless before astrology. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. But you did hit some bumps in the road! That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight into your fate. <laughs> With our knowledge combined, I am Captain Planet. <laughs> and that game I hope so. <laughs> Whatever the case, you've got everything to gain from this trip. I do? All right, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. I could have just teleported there. <sighs> if only we had a cart. Oh, I thought you weren't tired. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Bam, boom, Shab shablango. Made it. We didn't even have to... So far at all, we just teleported. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean that that little bird was was you know asking to be destroyed. Hold on. Yeah. Let me get more foul. I didn't do it, it wasn't me. Are you ready? Don't shame your master now. We're about to meet that successor. Can't read the stars. I can't tell fortunes. I guess. Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all, even if you are a fake disciple. We have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders, but I suppose... I suppose I could teach you. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Ah, like a witch pot. You look in it, and then it's the sky. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. Alright, I don't see any water near us except that ocean. From the present station and movement of the stars, I see. So that successor is a young, female... Knight of Favonius. Oh. So. Two guesses. Um, the girl who, who trains at the dummy. You know, who's training all day at the dummy. Or it's Jean. Doesn't that sound like Lisa? 
Oh, I was totally wrong. We will meet her here presently. Oh, she is a mage, I guess. Well, that's all the information we need. I haven't had a chance to look yet. <sighs> it seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Never mind, I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Oh, where? Oh, hold on, there's, there's, there's chicken behind you. I don't know get that. Wow, it's you, Miss Honorary Knight. And Paimon, too. You're back. Oh, hi, Klee. That's her. The successor to great knowledge. That, that's not Lisa. Uh, there must be some mistake. That's not Lisa. Successor? That's right. I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. Use the explosives and boom booms and, you know, boom booms, not water. An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish in it? Oh, yeah, I'd never ask. Does it? Fish? No, don't play dumb. Is this some kind of game? I should be the one saying that. I didn't get what you said at all. Yeah, me neither. She's, uh, she's weird. Uh, we're getting nowhere fast. See, I said this was a mistake. Mm-hmm. But my predictions can't be mistaken. <sighs> well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? That's right. Oh, so you're mommy's friend. But she's gone very far away. Aw, look, you made her sad. <sighs> My readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, surely. You mean her boom boom magic? Yeah, that's, that's uh, not really, uh, you know, mystical arts in any way. Mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make Jumpy Dumpties. Oh, I don't know what that is. So Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Yes. As well versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. Well, Glee's so young. So even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. Ah, uh, yes. So before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? Wait, who, who signed an agreement for 50 years of something? Or right, hold on. <laughs> that, that, that's a long, long, long time. Unless it's like a trillion dollars or something. Or agreement. I'll think about it. Oh, I know this one. So you're here for that box. I'll look right here. It, it, is it in the ground right here? Mm, not this one. Mm, hmm. Or this one. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's not this one either. Are all these locations in the ground? Ah, I remember. I buried it together with my new treasure at Windrise. I knew it. Why do you always bury important things outdoors? It's a bomb again, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, why do you bury important stuff outside? Wait for me. I'll be right back. Oh, I didn't even answer my question. Glee, don't just run off. Don't you need the things in your pack? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her. <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. Yeah, it's kind of, it's most likely a boom boom item again. I'm, I'm just saying. That box is really important to me. Does it have to do something with your mom? If anything were to happen to it, I wouldn't be able to report back to that old crone. Oh. Oh wow, she, she went far. Lee. Oh, I don't need a heal. All right. Did it explode? 
You're right next to a monster, by the way. It's just letting you know. Boba, get them! We're here! This is it! Let's dig it up! <laughs> oh no. Dendro Slime must have done this. This has to be the work of Dendro Slime. It can't be! I put a sign here! There's no mistake! Ah! Dendro Slimes! Yep, Dendro Slimes. <sighs> we could talk later! Let's take them out first! Hopefully my cooldown one, you know, is done. Oh, but my cooldown didn't even go away. Right, if I don't move... They can't see movement. I think I I don't I don't I, I don't even believe that. <laughs> and boom, done. What the, huh? <sighs> Glad it wasn't damaged in the explosions. What explosions? Retrieval complete. Let's bring it back. Uh. It didn't even move. How, how how long did it take you to put everything in? You know, back in her backpack. Okay, it's, it's, it's not rocket science. Ooh. Mushrams. Oh, those chickens better be be where they were, where they are. Oh, those those chickens better be, you know, well done or something, and you know, still there. Hold on, I need I need to check. I don't want to waste chicken. Oh, they're there. All right, let's get more more foul meat. Boom. Uh, they just didn't care. Yes, and the kid is gone too, so so he won't have to be mad at me or whatever. And, and be wondering, why did all the birds disappear? Hmm, chicken meat. You're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. Wow, you we went in her diary? It dropped from Klee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge, but... Never mind that. So, did you find the box? We did. It's in perfect shape. With a, 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 with a ticking sound in there. That's wonderful. Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Hey? Huh? You didn't even open it. Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. Borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's empty. You used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Oh, you want the thing that used to be in the box? You should have said so. Yeah, you should have been more specific. You haven't broken it, have you? I don't know, did, does it go kaboom? No, it's not broken at all. Is that white Totoro? <sighs> it's the book in your hand. Oh, well, well, she said it was you know, nothing important at all, so I mean, we can take it back, right? What? Th this, so this book, this diary, is that Hag's... It's her diary from 50 years ago? A, a diary. Oh. What about waifus in space? I'm, I'm still... I'm still expecting that to happen right now. The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? Huh. I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Am... Am I in trouble? No. Huh, it was you who said you wanted the box. You didn't say anything about the thing inside. Yeah, it's all your fault. I don't know 
anything. I'm leaving. Bye. Oh, a touching conclusion. There's no point getting mad at Klee. Um, well, if you don't say anything, your master won't find out, will she? Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. Oh. After having spent all my mora to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge, but now I can't return. How did it come to this? That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. That's... Uh, too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... Too embarrassing? <sighs> no, too expensive? Yes. I mean, no. You really have no way with words. Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. Au revoir. S stop talking about it. I... I guess I'll have to... I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. Intimidating resolution. Does that really count as temporary? But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait. I don't even have a place to stay. Hmm. I did see a, uh, crate. About that. We can go ask Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. Let's see if she can help. Is all that stuff, uh, in, supposed to be in Klee's backpack? The Adventurer's Guild? Ah, oh, right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... Well, you know what I mean, don't you? That was always the plan. Oh, um, thanks. I... Never mind, it's nothing. Uh-huh. Do, do I get her as a character? I mean, it, it's unlikely, but, but I... It would be awesome. I don't I don't think this is faster, but whatever. Way we go. Add Astra ab uh about Mona's background in her quandary. I see. I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. <gasps> it's that freaking blue door that I tried to figure out how to do it because it was water magic. And But I had Barbara and, it, and she couldn't get through it. Oh, is it that door? Tell me it's that door. Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. Really? Someone who could break the seal and go inside and, you know, take, take, you know, more lab equipment for themselves? Don't want it? I don't see that happening. That, that's not, that's unrealistic. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed there. The, the owner of the house? Uh, wait. Is there an owner right now or no? Because... <laughs> If it's locked up, that's your reason. I'll take her to go have a look. All right. Then allow me to tell you where the house is. Okay, I know where it is. <sighs> yep, as I suspected. Yep, that one. Wait, how, did, how come it said investigate? Hmm. Oh, I had to jump the out. The person who placed this seal is by no means simple. Breaking this seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let me see. Hmm, I see. So, if you first, and then you... Right? It's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Catherine and you'll be able to stay here. Oh yeah, I thought we had to talk to the owner. No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. Oh, I guess found the owner. Goth. Boss Goth Grand Hotel. You are? 
Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurer's Guild a while back, and Catherine told me about the matter. I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Does that mean I can stay here? <laughs> of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. To express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. 20,000 mora. A day. R rent? I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out too. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. I... I mean... Paimon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... Might be your best option. Save, save a little here, scrimp a little there, and you'll be fine. I guess I don't have any other choice. I'll rent this place. Great! Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. How much is it? Thanks for your help. Also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. But waifus in space? Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. As you got to keep working at it then. You, as you said, this journey was all gain and no loss. Yes, you got to keep working at it then. Hmm. It was lost. I didn't, get, I didn't gain anything. Yeah, I guess this one. Or this, this one. Yes. I don't really know what to do, but I'll do my best. Yay. I wish you both safe travels. As for me, I need to think of the future as well. Yeah, as in you're waiting for your, uh, your, your master to die. How is she gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? I was gonna say, like, if that, if that was how it was gonna end, I, that was short and sad. Hmm. Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger in there. Oh, no, I am sad. Now I am sad and... and I, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. That, uh... Wow. Okay, that's Cut actually... That racket out! I'm doing experiments here! Uh, never mind. Oh, it's you! I'm currently running some tests related to your situation. I should see some results soon, so please wait patiently. Don't worry about me fainting from hunger. In any case, I figured out a way to make some money. Uh Okay. Well, it seems like Lin Lang is busy completing the quest right of dissension that I accidentally started. Great. I guess that's the next thing we have to actually do. But anyways, we dispelled this um Boom, and she's got a nice rate, and uh, yeah, I, I guess that was it. That wasn't really much of a quest. I don't know why it was heavily focused on as something important in the event page, but at least we finished it. So, um, yeah, interesting. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of... Breath of the Waifu Genshin Impact. And next time we will probably be doing the actual Archon Quest and continuing on our adventure. To find our missing sibling. Or less. Yeah. But anyways, you guys can add me. My UID is down there in the uh, bottom right as always. And... Uh, let me know in the comments who you are when you're adding me so that I know who I am adding and accepting. 
So uh, thank you everybody for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, then please smash that like button, subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Don't forget to ring that little bell to get notifications of my uploads. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you guys will hear me in the next video. Goodbye!